Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix FPS drops, lags, stutter, and black screen issues in new FC26 dropped recently. This video will be covering all of the best game and PC settings, so make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings onto your PC and once you're over here, head over to personalization and then click on colors. Disable transparency effects as this will help you to disable unwanted windows animations and translucent appearing surfaces. After that, click on the gaming button, head over to game bar and turn this thing off. It is an overlay service and disabling that will help you to optimize your PC a ton. Go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. This will help you to optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background, helping you to optimize your performance a bit. Then click on the graphics button underneath and then click on the optimizations of windowed games. Make sure that this is set to on and then click on advanced graphics settings and enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Both of these options will help you to reduce input latency and utilize your graphic card to render the game. After that, head over to Steam, right click on your game, head over to Manage and then click on Browse Local Files. This will take you to the download location of your game. Simply copy this file path. Come over here, click on Add Desktop App button and then paste this file path over here. Select FC26 and then click on the Add button. Once that is added, scroll down and select it. For the GPU preference from Let Windows Decide, set this into High Performance as this will allocate your GPU to render the game. And once that is done, simply head over to the top and search for Core I isolation over here. Simply head over to Windows Security and then you wanna have to turn off memory integrity. While this is meant for the safety of your system, turning this thing on will occupy almost 20% of your CPU resources and you do not want that while you're playing the games. So simply turn this thing off, your PC still has a ton of features to defend itself. Once that is done, simply close it and close system settings. Next step is compatibility settings and for that head over to Steam back again, right click on your game, then manage and then click on browse local files. Once you're over here, select fc26.exe, right click on that, head over to its properties and once you're over here, click on compatibility and select disable full screen optimizations. This will help you to get rid of all of those stutterings and black screen issues if you're facing some. Then click on change high dpi settings and select override high dpi scaling behavior. Click on ok and then click on apply and once that is done, simply close it. Next step is disabling unwanted background applications on your PC and for that simply search for local group policy editor and then select edit group policy. Now, make a note that this step will only be available for Windows Pro users. Once you're over here, head over to Computer Configuration, then Administrator Templates, Windows Components, and then App Privacy. Right over here, you'll find something called Let Windows Apps Run in the background. Double click to open this policy up and make sure that this policy is enforced. Then click on Default for All Applications and set this into Force Deny. This will deny all of the applications running in the background, allowing your PC to breathe a bit and optimize your FPS while you're playing the games. Once that is done, simply close it. Next step is removing unmonitored startup applications. This is really essential. Open up your task manager and over here click on the fourth tab that says startup apps. Over here start disabling all of the unnecessary startup applications which you do not feel that you need when you boot up your PC. This will help you to reduce the number of applications running in the background right after the boot of your PC and not just that it will also help you to reduce your booting time. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and right over here select local disk C, click on the create button and name it FC26 and press enter. This is to ensure that your system is in the safer hands and once that is done simply close it and close system properties. Next step is the FC26 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys will find in six very simple folders over here which are really essential as well. First one is CPU priority in which I have left AMD as well as Intel CPU priority. If you guys have an Intel CPU like me, double click and apply the Intel CPU priority. This will help you to set up the correct DWORD value for your processor to optimize its performance. Similarly, for the AMD CPU. Second folder is RAM optimization which does the same thing but for your RAM. Over here I have left a ton of presets according to your PC. To know which one you need to choose simply search for system information and then look for the installed physical memory that is 32 GB for me. You have to simply double click and apply that registry for your PC and it will help you to optimize the performance of your RAM. After that if you feel that it's not working well you can always reset it back to default using this registry over here. Third folder is FC26 priority in which I have left above normal high priority and normal priority for FC26. What you guys have to do is leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Fourth one is disable unwanted services in which I have left a ton of services which are absolutely useless on your PC but they're still running and consuming your system resources. Once again, if you 
use any Bluetooth or printer services, leave them and apply every single one of these registry in this folder because it will help you to save your system's performance by a ton. And once again, if at any given point you want to revert them back, head over to the revert registries folder and you guys can turn them back on from here. Fifth folder is power plan settings in which I have left import ultimate performance power plan, which is a very important thing to do. Right click on it and run it as administrator. This will run a PowerShell command, which will add a new power plan onto your PC. To access that, double click on power plans and then you have to select ultimate performance over here that should be added in this list. Make sure to select show additional plans if that is not being visible for you guys. This will help you to disable all kind of power saving features and run your PC on maximum throttle. Once all of that is done, the sixth folder is useful programs in which I have left clean temporary files. You wanna have to right click on this as administrator. This simple software will help you to clean all of the temporary files on your PC. Simply press enter and all of them will be cleaned directly. Once that is done, simply close it. Second is MSI mode utility 3.0. Simply right click and then run it as administrator. This simple software helps you to optimize the performance of your GPU. Simply look for your GPU and click on the MSI button next to it and for the interrupt priority select high. This will allow your graphic card to handle more interrupts on a higher priority, allowing you to optimize your performance and maximize your FPS. Once it's done, simply close it. Then you close the FPS pack. Next step is fixing all of your packet loss, ping issues and latency using Gear Up Booster. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. Gear Booster acts as a VPN that connects your PC straight to the game servers without any hindrance, giving you the lowest ping, jitter and packet loss. Simply download this for free and once you open up Gear Booster, you'll see a dashboard like this. It offers you more than 500 games to choose from, simply search for FC26 over here and then select it. Gear Booster is available for all platforms like PlayStation, Xbox, Steam Deck and Nintendo Switch as well. Select the game and let it run. You can simply select your game region over here. I'll be selecting Middle East and I'll leave it to Auto because it will automatically select which server will be giving me the lowest ping. Simply click Auto. Once you've selected that, simply click on the Boost button and it will help you to connect your game straight to the game servers without any hindrance in just one single click. You can also click on the burger icon and then click on the settings button over here. Head over to optimization settings and click on optimize RAM after boosting and this will help you to also free up your RAM for the games once you are boosting it. Once again, Gear Booster is available on all kind of devices that you can imagine and it is trusted by gamers worldwide. I have left a free download link to Gear Booster right in the description below. Make sure to go and check it out. Next step is disabling Sysmain and for that simply press Windows and R key together and then type in services.msc. Press enter and over here search for Sysmain in this list. Simply find it and double click to open it up. For the startup type, make sure to set this thing to disabled and if the service is already running click on stop sysmain is actually consuming up to 15 percent of your cpu resources while you're playing the games and this is not a very important service you can feel free to disable that and save some extra resources for your games after that click on the apply button close it and close services on your pc and now you guys can drop into the game for the best in game settings okay once you're in your game what you have to do is head over to the settings gear and now you have to click on settings then click on game settings. Once you're over here, head over to camera. Make sure all of these settings are set to as it is. Head over to visual. For the input overlay, keep it off. For connection monitoring, go with contextual. Input overlay off. Score clock, I have left it to on. And rest everything, keep it default, okay? Under settings, head over to the display tab and then make sure that your active monitor is set to your native monitor and your display mode is set to borderless. Then you're gonna have to come down and disable VSync and this will unlock frame rate limit. Set it to the highest available according to your monitor. That is 240 FPS for me, but I can go with unlimited over here. For the cutscene performance, go with half frame rate over here and the render scale is set to 100 by default. You guys can reduce it down to 95 and see if that gives you better performance. For the dynamic resolution scale, I have gone with off because we're gonna be using other things. Head over to the graphics tab and then make sure that the rendering quality over here is set to medium. For the strand based hair, go with off. For the grass quality, you guys can go with medium. Crowd quality, you guys can go with low over here because it doesn't really matter. But it saves a bit of your GPU and CPU performance. For the cloth quality, you guys can go with low or medium. Both of them works fine. Ambient occlusion, you guys have to go low. And motion blur should be set to off. Now once that is done, go back to your game and now you guys can enjoy a game with the highest fps possible so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button because it really helps me grow the channel we are already very close to 250,000 subscribers and i trust you all and i'll see you in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out